People dress to impress. They buy a lot of good clothes, nice looking shoes, and good watches to look good in front of people. A wise person has said, spend time to learn knowledge and learn the skills of conversation. People will be impressed with the way you clothe yourself, but that impression is only for 10 seconds. After that, it's all about conversation. Let's talk about some etiquettes of conversation. It is against the manners of conversation to speak at such a high speed that the person in front of you does not understand. By having a slow and steady conversation, you can get your point across to others. When you speak, speak in a soft tone because speaking in a soft tone is a sunnah. The Holy Prophet liked speaking in a soft tone and he would dislike speaking in a harsh tone. When appropriate, communicate with a smile. Even if it is a one-day-old child with good intentions, you should make it a habit of talking respectfully. While the other person is talking, listen carefully and calmly. It is not sunnah to interrupt his conversation and start your own. With the intention of appeasing the Muslims, be kind to children and polite with the elders. While speaking, avoid constant spitting, scratching different parts of the body as others may not like it. Umm al-Mu'mineen Sayyidah Aisha Siddiqa radiyallahu ta'ala anha has stated that perfect in all his attributes, the beloved of Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam did not speak quickly like you. He used to talk in such a way that if someone wanted to count, he would have counted them. Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi rahmatullahi ta'ala has stated that the speech of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam used to be very comprehensive but short so that the companions used to memorize it like the Quran. It was collected in the form of hadith and religion established today by the blessed speech. The Quran is being understood from these blessed words. Sallu al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam.